God bless everyone here. Welcome to Church on the Street on a beautiful Sunday morning. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Amen. Amen. All right, well, well, let's pray today. Father God, we thank you for all that you do in our lives. We thank you that the enemy has been defeated. We are more than conquerors in Christ. And this is the day that you have made. So today we're going to give you glory and honor with our praise, with the word, with everything that we do. So Father, I pray that your hand is upon Church on the Street. And all our endeavors today, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Lights. Lights. Check. And effects. Check. Good.
I guess they're late. They're, scared. they're still walking. Tell you something. I'd rather have a little chaos like this, with the Spirit of God working, the perfect harmony, and everything just. Amen. How many are talking about? God bless you. <laughs> Keep on. If God put that in your heart, it'll bring it to pass. Amen. Boy, you, you've been out there doing this before, haven't you? Yeah, a couple times. Couple times. You're from the mission. Uh, yes, I am. How was it out there? It was. It was good out there. It was kind of nice walking today. It wasn't too hot. Uh, had people honking and enjoying it. Amen. God bless you. I was, I was real good. We had the opportunity to share uh, the Gospel of John with a few people. We have uh, a gentleman come by, drove by two or three times in a, a black truck, and finally stopped. And uh, Brother John back here was able to share with him a little bit. So hopefully, you know, God's touching these people's souls and their souls being saved. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Uh, yeah, just, my mom, my mom and, and my wife, I dated for 24 years, and she's passed away, so she's still with me, but felt good. Amen. God bless you. We're a band of brothers when we're walking, carrying the cross, and uh, I just I always feel the spirit of God. So it's good. Amen. Well, you know, brother, you're on brother for the science. Almost mistaken for Pastor Jesse today. Oh my God! Yeah, it's, it's a gal come out of the store and she asked me how far we were walking. Well, it was just a few blocks wide, and she said, "Well, my cousin from Winslow called and told me about a pastor that came." And I said, "Oh yes." And she said, Are you him? Oh no! No, no. He's in the back there with the red shirt on. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. oh, you keep doing it too, huh? Uh, yes, I do. Um, I just want to say uh, we were praying with a couple of people at the bus stop. You know, after we stopped by the Washington house and the little hospital. You know, it was a good day. You know, I'm happy. Amen. Hi, everyone. Uh, it's my first crosswalk, and I was just very grateful to be a partaker in it. I just want to thank uh, Pastor Jesse. He's a great example for all us uh, young people out here. And uh, it was just a great experience to go out, out there and touch people and pray for people out there. So I'm very grateful for that. Amen. So he just a good example for young people. What about us old people? Yeah. Oh, for them too. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Pretty good. 
Ayon. Today was a was another unique day. Um, learned a lot today. Matter of fact, today for us had a whole lot to do with um, let God be God that, that messes out there because um, a couple of times, well, the whole time we were uh, we were about uh, just moving forward and going and, and we were waiting on God to bring people to us and you know one, one time we was going to the the um, laundromat. It's a laundromat down there on Van Buren and. Um, you know, it was a kid in there. They needed some prayer. They wanted to pray for his dad. But um, if we hadn't have went over there, you know, that kid wouldn't have got, you know, he would probably wouldn't have got his prayer in. It was a lot of other stuff with it, too. But um, that's just a little, you know, I just got that lesson out today. It was a lot that I learned. Praise the Lord. We need to learn something every day, too, huh? Amen. We do, too. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm, uh, I remember in 09 when uh, one our gym asked me, Gilbert, you want to go on the crosswalk? And I said, no, man, I'm not going to make a spectacle of myself. You know, and uh, I meant to. I, I came in with a lot of pride, a lot of arrogance, a lot of anger. And thank God for this place, Mr. Wayne, Pastor Wall. When I went out today and I seen the innocence of a child. That he was, he didn't want nothing for himself. He just grabbed the bitch's shirt and said, you know, can you pray for my dad? Can you pray for my dad? And when that's, that's what it says to be childlike. The innocence it was selfless. And I, you know, I've come a long way in my own walk, and I still have that pride and that arrogance. But uh, I've been humbled by this walk. Jesse, you're famous. Well, to be honest with you, I serve a great master, so basically he's the famous. You know, he is the light. I'm the, you know, if you want to be in the spotlight, just pick up the cross. You will be the spot. He is the light. Yes. Yeah. This is one of those things that we follow right here, right now. Listen. What we're experiencing right now, the street is amazing. We look at people in all directions calling upon the name of the Lord. Because we, are, we need to encourage these people. You know, that are, I don't think that because they don't, have, they don't have access to buy it, they do have access, but they don't want to read it. So when we go out there, what we do is just quote a scripture and repeat what God has given us. And today we had the opportunity to do a circle right on cats. And uh, the boss was, you know, everything was right there at time. We got there and now uh, we invited two people. We started just screaming out, you know, do anybody want to need prayer? Do anybody need a prayer? You know, we just went on and on and on and on. And people just started writing. But that was not the end of it. Now that you have prayer, would you like to go to church? Would you like to go to church? And guess what? And then, would anybody want a spaghetti deal? <laughs> and guess what? I learned this from a lot of you guys. This is a great ministry. And I know that uh, God is moving it through all of us. And all we need to do is, you know, we, the whole week it wasn't about a let God be God. Be honest, but the, the important thing is His timing. Amen. You know, yeah. if you rush into things, nothing's going to take place. The Lord said, without me, you cannot do nothing. So let the Lord be with you, all right? Thank you, good to have you back. I know we're we praying for you, and I know this has been a big benefit to all of us. And I know we speak a lot about you when we're in the street. A lot of people know you are there today. We spoke about it, a lot about you. And uh, Mitchell, what do you think for being here? Amen. Thank you, sir. Good. Yes. Keep talking about letting God be God. We had our pastor, we had a pastor's conference here last week. Pastors from church last week, pastors from all over the place. And for three days, all the way, every one of them preached the sermon on let God be God. Their interpretation of what the Bible meant, let God be God. And I'll tell you something, that's exhaustible. You know, another thing is we're carrying the crosses. Yesterday, after soul winning, we went to 27th Avenue in Indian School. Just set a living there. Took crosses and mini PA and uh, hawk signs and you want to pray signs. And man, we're out there preaching, standing on the street corner, red shirts going all over the place on each corner. And people are coming by hawking, they're stopping the lights, and we're preaching to them, praying with them, taking them to the mission. How many was out there yesterday doing that? Was that exciting? Mike, come here real quick. That is, you know what? There's nothing more exciting than just being doing the will of the Lord. And I'll tell you what is so pathetic. You, people, you don't even know what you're missing unless you go out there and do it. I'm scared. Well, who is it? <laughs> so you get to doing it, and then, then all of a sudden you realize somebody that's lost and you forget about yourself. This is an amazing thing. And then you start thinking about them. And once you forget about yourself, that, that's probably the most exciting thing there is. Because then you're away from you. How many want to get away from you? How many not talking about? Real quick. Uh, 
Yesterday, it was it's awesome. But you know what? We, we come here, disciples, all you guys who are on fire for God, uh, we come here, we learn. We don't learn to get knowledge. We learn to pass it on. Uh, like, uh, like the service today, we're the vine. Jesus is the vine to spread throughout the earth. Man, I think it's awesome what we're doing out there on the corner because we're just catching so many people, at least 100 people every minute. If you really think about it, all the people every minute are hearing the word Jesus Christ in their life. And it's just amazing. You know, he was holding, he was preaching out there too, but I was preaching a little bit. He was holding the mini PA. And when they were stopped this way from the red light, he had aimed it this way. And as soon as they're done there, they aimed it over here. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, you know, and just watching people get excited, this is the whole thing. Amen. It's an exciting sermon we're going <laughs> Let's hear the word of God. All right, as you go through the Bible, let's open up our Bibles to 2 Chronicles.